Good morning, everyone. I'm your host, Sean Glasgow, president of Barclay Square Speakers. Welcome to a very special occasion in the club's history. We're coming to you live from Barclay Square, the heart of the Olympic city, London. London is famous for its rain. And this month, it's been raining medals. <laughs> Just here in a few moments, there will be an award beyond medals presented to our very own Andrew Bennett. That's right, the first Distinguished Toastmaster Award in Barclay Square Speaker's history. The reason why I say beyond medals is that on this track, Andrew has completed over 40 speech projects. The Distinguished Toastmaster Award is the crowning gold for completing in their entirety both the communication and leadership tracks. This is a great achievement. This is the highest achievement that you can do in the Toastmaster educational program. So, without further ado, our victory ceremony. Madames et messieurs, <laughs> it is my great pleasure and privilege to introduce to you a special guest to present the award, our own area governor, Mr. Ash Sethi. Now, please, a Toastmasters, warm welcome to the stage, Mr. Andrew Bennett! <laughs> the plaque will now be presented to Andrew by Asethi. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. What a fantastic achievement. You must be so proud. Uh, How does it feel? Utterly amazed, actually. Uh, where did the time go to? How did it work out that I managed to give 40 speech projects in the first place within four years? Within four years. Within yes. four years. Uh, part of it was because I was belonging to two public speaking clubs, which gave me more opportunities. Also, for the leadership awards, I was able to take advantage of leadership opportunities very quickly, presidencies and area governorships, which helped me to move up the system. But uh, it's been pretty staggering, actually, when I look back, yes. So, so has, has the journey been worth it? Oh, more than worth it. I think we're always working to develop ourselves within our clubs as leaders and as public speakers. And it's been very, very exciting also to watch everybody else growing alongside me. You know, an award like this really is an award for our whole club because every time somebody gives you an evaluation, every time somebody gives you a piece of advice, then they are really helping you towards this award. So perhaps the idea of basking in glory, which has been the theme of our meeting this morning, is very, very aptly chosen. I think everybody... So so, so you look at it very much as being a team sport and also an award for the team? Absolutely. Toastmasters meetings are a collective practice. We meet together, we help each other to grow as speakers and leaders, and therefore any award that we receive reflects the work of the others too. Excellent. So now that you've got the high award, the Distinguished Toastmaster Award, is, is that Andrew? Are you, are, you, are you done? Are you just going to put your plaque on the wall now, or what's next? <laughs> Not quite. It doesn't quite work like that. A, because we always need to practice. I've got a couple of schemes in mind. One is that I'm becoming mentor of London's first French language club, which is going to be called Experience French. And there I'm going to completely redo the Competent Communicator Award, the very first one, but I'm going to do it in French. 
So that's number th- one. Fantastic. <laughs> number two, number two is that Toastmasters has a program called the Accredited Public Speaker Program. Uh, it involves having videos uh, assessed. It involves giving at least 15 external uh, speaking engagements and eventually maybe going off to America to give a speech there. So I would like to register for that program in November. It's pretty challenging, but I'm counting on all the members of the club to help me out and uh, get me to standard. Uh, as usual. And uh, I, I knew there was no doubt that you were on to your next achievement. Congratulations on a very well achieved award. Thank you. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, our champion, Andrew Bennett. Now one, th- <laughs> thank you, Irene. No, to me, this plaque is a little token in terms of, I didn't even know that he was doing this. What I always saw visibly was the contribution that he was making to all our lives. Andrew, thank you so much. Let's give him a warm round of applause. And one thing I really liked was um, he recognised success, really, because uh, that's what it's about, so really, recognition of success, uh, recognition of awards. But the highest award you can really achieve at Toastmasters, that of the Distinguished Toastmaster Award, and the way he presented that it was warm. I almost had a tear in my eye, because that was genuine, <laughs> where it came from. Um, and, it, and it is such an awesome award, and to hear Andrew talk about 40 speeches in the space of two years, and then, you know, the world of us are going through that ranks, and, and it was a great pleasure and privilege for me, really, to, to be asked to come and present the award to, to a man I have a tremendous amount of respect. We're not done with awards yet. First off, Felix, big congratulations. <laughs> well, we'll wait till speech two to ask you whether you're going to be distinguished Toastmaster or not. <laughs> Attention everyone. Attention everyone for one second. I forgot one very, very important piece of business. Could we all please give a round of applause to George who's been here since six o'clock? Will now be presented to Andrew by Asteffi. Well,